I saw it. Okay, great. All right, well, welcome everyone. Welcome to a lecture I'm going to do today uh, on how to trade with size. Of course, this is a fun topic for me because I love to trade with size. I even love to trade with size at the beginning of my career, which really wasn't a good idea, <laughs> to be honest with you. But after I learned how to trade, it was a good idea, and it is a good idea now for me. Um, and actually, trading with size is a lot of fun, okay? It's a lot of fun because you can be up quite a bit of money very quickly <laughs> once you trade with size. Um, the, the thing is that you do know how, have to know how to do this, okay, number one. And number two, you have to know how to trade well. And you have to be able to tolerate the risk that trading with size sometimes, you know, requires. But if you're very nimble with your trades and trade things with volume, um, you know, you can do this very well and, and it's a nice way to get paid. And even if you get a little move in something, you can get paid. So welcome. Welcome to How to Trade with Size, the lecture. My name is Melissa Armo. I think everybody here knows me, but for those of you that don't, I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. If you're interested in more information after the lecture today, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. And you can go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Skype, and like me at any one of those places there. I'm doing the open house the rest of the week, so if you'd like to come back to the room, Tomorrow and Friday, the room is going to be open for an open house for a few days this week. And there's also going to be a lecture tomorrow, tomorrow at 11 o'clock, if you'd like to come back as well and stay for that too. So today we're going to talk about size. Why does size matter? Size matters for one important reason in trading results. You will see larger monetary results trading with size just like I was talking about earlier. The caveat is that you cannot trade with size unless you have learned a strategy that is solid and can bring you the consistent results taking size, okay? And again, you know, in order to be a successful trader, it, a lot of it has to do with consistency. That has to do with having a good strategy. Money management is part of it too, but you could money manage yourself all the way to the cows come home. And if you don't have a good strategy, you're not gonna make money, okay? So you do need the strategy itself first, which which I have, which is what we were doing this morning. So really, size is the goal. You want to think big. Not now, but in the future. This has to be your goal. This is you're looking forward. What are you going to do? Where are you going to be six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, five years from now? Where do you want to see yourself? This has to be have some part, some something, something to do with your long-term plan. The idea of taking 100 share lots or 500 share lots five years from now, if you're still trading, and this is what you're doing. You're not trading with size. Something's going on. It's something with your strategy, something that you're doing with the money management, something to do with fear. I'm going to talk about that a little bit today as well. So here's an example of size. If you take a 500 share position and it runs a dollar, the profit is what? $500. 500 shares times a buck. Okay. If you take a 5,000 share position and it runs a dollar, the profit is what? $5,000. Okay, that's a big difference. Now, you know, it seems like it's a big difference, but the reality is it's just, we're talking about the same trade, the same trade itself. Now, how do you get to the point where you can risk more to see better results in what you're doing that you can really, really start to pay yourself? The stock moved the same amount in the same time. Okay, there was no different in the strategy, no different than the setup, no different than the move. The only difference is you made more money because you took a larger position in your trade. If you took a 5,000 share position and you were able to make $5,000, you did the same trade as the person next to you that only took 500 shares, and yet he made $500. Now, $500 isn't nothing to sneeze at. $500 is $500, but $5,000 is a lot different than 500, okay? So really, what is the difference? Well, one of the factors is fear. And there is a lot of reasons traders cannot take size. However, fear is absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, one of them, and probably the number one reason. And really, traders are afraid to take size, and they're afraid of that because they do not have enough conviction in what they're doing in their actual strategy and system. I mean, that's the bottom line. The money fear issue comes up too, but it's really about not believing, not having conviction in what you're doing. Traders are afraid to take size because they don't want to lose more, okay? But a trade should never be taken in fear in the first place. It shouldn't be taken in fear in the first place. Whether you take less or more, you should not take a trade in fear, fear of losing. Okay? Trades should be taken with conviction, a hundred percent conviction, with or without size. In other words, what I'm saying is it really shouldn't matter. 
You should not be in fear of taking a trade with 500 share lots. You should not be in fear of taking a trade with 5,000 share lots if you believe in your strategy. Now, obviously, you have to have an account that will withstand that to risk that much on the day per trade and so on and so forth. But the reality is the reason that many people do not trade with size has to do with a lack of conviction in what they're doing. And there's lots of people that have sizable accounts, good, decent trading accounts, and they could take trades with size and they just don't do it. Why? Okay. The issue is that many traders lack conviction in their strategy, their stock pick, really another big thing, their play, the overall directional trend of the stock. This is another big thing too. The idea is not to trade small size for the rest of your trading career or to be afraid of size. And I'm talking to people that have been doing this for a while. Okay. Some people are new. You've got to work up to learning it, obviously. The idea though is to learn what to do, no matter where you're at with your own trading career and to gain conviction to trade with size and see real monetary results. Because at the end of the day, there's nothing like being able to pay yourself. And sometimes what happens is, you know, if you don't have a great month, like let's just say things don't run onto the full on targets. Okay. You're not getting big targets and stuff, whatever reason, one month. If you trade with size, you can still pay yourself a decent amount, for example, to pay your bills. And if you didn't trade with size and you didn't get big moves and stuff one month, you may not have enough to cover your bills. I'm talking about if this is something you're doing for a living. So the goal is to get good at the beginning, but the goal still has to be size. Otherwise, how are you ever going to make the transition to becoming a full-time trader to actually pay yourself for an income? I'm talking about for an income, all right? So fear comes with lack of conviction. That is the basis of it, which is nothing but lack of a good strategy and direction, a lack of direction. Where do I go? What do I do? Do I do a long day? Do I do a short today? Do I do a bullish gap? Should I do a down gap? Should I do a climactic? Where do I get in? Should I be with the market? Should, does it, should I not care about the market? I don't know what to do today. It's a lack of direction, a lack of conviction, a lack of knowing what to do, a lack of having a trading plan. The one thing that I really have down pat is the reason I'm teaching people now is because I am so, so focused on my own strategy, even in the right same direction. I'm only doing the shorts and picking my stocks in the day, getting very, very focused on the things I want to watch. I mean, I cover everything in the morning, looking at everything and deciding what I want to like and pick and trade, but I'm narrowing it down to one or two things or three at the most, rating them and picking them and watching them. And then I'll funnel through the rest after the beginning open, after 10. This idea of having a direction even for your day, for your trading day, is so vital. And again, it takes away the fear aspect. There's fear when you don't know what to do. And every day when you get up in the market, there looks like there's so many things to do, but really there's not. I mean, look at today. There was a million things we looked at this morning. What did we do? You know, get one good play, two good plays to chunk it out. That's it. You know, this is it. This is what it is. Okay. But it's worth it because it's a beautiful job where you do sitting at home, <laughs> literally, you know, so it's really a nice lifestyle. So you do have to have a focus though, to put it all together. And what is that going to be? You need conviction. This was BKS. Just did this yesterday. Plopped it in, in here. You know, it flipped in the afternoon. I actually was kind of looking at it in the afternoon yesterday and thought, you know, gosh, I should have redid it. It's going to go to 1360. It did not do it yesterday. It backed up into itself, okay, and I only did it in the morning. The reality was it worked much better in the morning. The drop-off that expected had a nice trade in it. And the conviction and why I'm pointing this one out here, why I think it's such a great example, is because I'm sure that not a lot of people would have had conviction in this overall setup. Looking at the chart and seeing the way that the stock traded down one, two, three, four days and gap down then $2. This, you know, this takes expertise. It takes skill. It takes conviction to decide to short this thing. Five days down, $2 gap down, and I shorted it, and this was my day. So, you know, again, conviction, having a focus, knowing what to do. There were other gaps yesterday. And you know what? All of them set up sloppy and went later in the day, not the morning. And I like to trade the morning. So I had the focus for what I was looking for in the morning for my gap and my setup and my play. And I did it. And that's how you put together a week. That's how you put together a month. That's how you put together a year. That's how you do it, you know? So long-term vision must involve conviction. Uh, you know, you have to have a long-term vision for yourself and this could be at least a year out, 
Okay, you don't have to think 10 years out here. I'm saying six months from now, a year from now, where do you want to be with your trading? You know, what is what do you want to do? You don't want to be the same place you are now. The only way to have conviction is to have a great strategy you believe in, which I do. And my strategy is called the Golden Gap. If you do, you will see results in terms of money. Just like I pointed out at the beginning, the difference between $500 and $5,000 is a lot. $5,000 actually could cover somebody's monthly expenses. Uh, not everybody's, but it could certainly cover some people's monthly expenses. Rent, food, cost of living, you know, and that could be done in one trade with size. So how can size make a difference? Trading with size can make a huge difference in a trader's P&L towards the upside once you become a skilled trader. The first time you see a large amount of money in just one play, you'll be amazed at how great it feels, and it absolutely does. This is one of the things I love about trading. It is fun to make money, and it is fun to make a lot of money, and it's fun to sit here and do it and press a button and then just make it. That is fun. There's, it's the easiest way to make money in the world if you know what to do. It's, it's easier than going to a job and slaving away. It's easier than working a commission sales job, which I did for 17 years. Work on loans I did and I would never know if the darn things would close and have to wait months to get paid. This is such a great job because the money is yours the minute you take the trade and it's in and you book it. You will realize that it is possible to make money trading once you start to actually make sizable money. And the goal is to replicate these profitable results on a regular basis over and over again Whenever you get the trades, whenever they run to target, once a week, twice a week, couple times a month, whatever, you've got to do it. But the idea is to keep the risk minimized. How do you do this? Focus, detail, exact. And pretty much acting like you have a million dollars to trade with even if you don't. I've talked about this before. Sounds silly, but the actual thing is it's really quite true. If you are thinking about things and you're like, well, you know, I don't really want to feel like I have to focus a lot on my trading right now because I'm only trading, you know, a couple hundred shares. So, you know, and what happens is the lack of the carelessness, it's actually an uh, uh, apathy. Carelessness comes into your trading because you're really not risky enough that you care. And then therefore then, you know, you're not seeing any progress with your results. And, and all of a sudden it's, it's two years you're doing it and you're not really losing, but you're not really getting anywhere. Why? Act like you have a lot of money. If you act like you have a lot of money, someday you will. If you don't act like you have a lot of money now and be that serious about what you're doing, then how are you ever going to get to that point? You won't because you are not creating the energy. You're not creating the, the setup to do it. You know, with, what, what is that movie? Bull Dorham? Is it Bull Dorham? No, it's some other movie. Build it and they were come. One of those other movies uh, with Kevin Costner. You know, you have to think big to get it in your head, to set up the energy to attract it to you before you're there yet, all right? So feel like the things that you are doing are serious on a small level to work up to the big level because that has to be the goal. The size has to be the goal. So focus on quality, not on quantity. It's about quality trades, and if your focus is on quality trades, even at the beginning, even when you're starting out, even when you're new, even when you're learning a new strategy, if you're focusing on quality trades, then you will eventually get to the point you're going to feel the conviction in what you're doing to take the size. So once you start to see the real monetary results using size in an effective manner, you will be amazed. Just like I was saying earlier, you will feel ignited and alive and like, gosh, you know, this is, I'm so glad I'm doing this. I knew it was worth it. I knew there was money in the market. You will feel passion again about trading if you've lacked it or lost it somewhere along the way, which happens to people because they're doing it for a while and then they just lose the passion for it because they're not really seeing the monetary results. And that is the reason you're doing it in the first place and was the reason you started out. And somewhere along the way, you might have forgotten it because you never really risk enough to even care. Do you see what I'm saying? So you will feel passion again about trading and making money if you lost it somewhere along the way. There is nothing like results to help you make progress in your future goals, specifically in your mind, okay? In your mind I'm talking about here. Your confidence level will increase dramatically, and this will translate into even more profitable results. Even just one good day a month trading correctly with size can really make a difference in your P&L and your mindset. When I go back um, from at the beginning, when I was starting to, to, to do it, a couple of years ago when I was starting to figure all the stuff out that I know now is really put it together and was having the big days, the days that I would do the right thing, the days that would hold, the days I would put it together and really hammer it and do it. 
I was still trying to figure it out. So I had lost days in there. And some of them were substantial because I was still trying to figure out what I know now. Back at the beginning, my big days were covering some of those big lost days because some of the days I was doing the right things and I had put it together. So these big days will cover your lost days. They will pay you if you know what to do and you learn it right, which is what's happening to me now. And they make a difference because in, at the end of the day, trading is, is, is really, there's cost involved, okay? You do have to pay a platform fee. You do have to pay a broker commissions. You do have to pay ECN fees. You've got to pay these things. It's a cost of doing business. That's what you, that's what it's called. Okay. And there's no way getting around it and even room fees. So how are you going to pay the cost of doing business and still pay yourself? You have to have big days in there. You have to have big days in there. I wish I could say to you, well, if you make one and a half hours a day and you add it up and it do, 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 do. It doesn't work out like that. Okay, it just doesn't work out like that. Some days you nail it, you get it, you got a big trade, you have a big day. Some days, like today, chunk it out. And some days you take a loss. The losses can't be crazy, okay? And they shouldn't be if you know what you're doing. But you do need the big days. And to get the big days, you're gonna have to take some size, okay? So results build up your self-esteem to keep going. And this is important. And I don't care who you are. I don't care if you've been trading for 100 years. I don't care. Confidence, it has to be there. Self-esteem is important. Everybody needs this. They need to hear their good. They need to talk about their good trades with their friends. They need to see the results. It's got to be there, all right? For you, yourself, your mindset. It's about making progress. Do your best to make progress with increasing your size trading over time. I'm not saying jump from 500 to 5,000 shares. I'm saying add 100, add 150, add 200. So do your best to try to do this. And over time, if you can increase your profitability per trade to more than three times a risk, then you're going to see it's time to start adding a little bit more. Make this a part of your trading plan as your trading improves. Every trader should have a money management trading plan for their future progress, not just today's trading. Because you're not, you shouldn't want to be at the same place forever. You want to make progress, not too quickly. But this is what I'm saying. Add a little bit, add a little bit, add a little bit. That way it's not so tremendous for you. That way it's not so difficult for you. You're just going to inch it in there, adding a little bit one week or one month, and all of a sudden you're up to taking more than you were double you know, three months ago. If you have the same training plan for money management today that you did 12 months ago, and I, I, a lot of people do. I mean, I'm not, I'm just, I'm talking to, this is the majority of the people here. All right. Majority of the people that trade, they don't make progress with their money management in reference to the trading plan. They just leave it be. And really this has to be the goal. If you have the same training plan for money management today that you did 12 months ago and you've not been able to improve on it, stop and think. It's time to review your timeline goals for your trading progress. You know, the funny thing about the market is, and I know this too, because when I started out, all of a sudden you lose track of time. You know, I started out at the end of 2008, and all of a sudden, you know, I was deep into it and years of my life where I was into this thing. You just, you kind of lose yourself in the market especially if you're passionate about it, which, you know, I am and I was, and I did figure it all out. But the reality is the market is one of those things that, you know, you could be trading and at the same place and years of your life's gone by. You say, what do I have to show for it? You know, I have some friends that have done this and then they look at what they're at with it and then they just decide to quit. And that's a shame. If they had looked at where they were at way before two years have gone by, six years have gone by, they would have made changes necessary to do it, to, to, to figure it out before they had to quit, meaning like they had to quit because they had to find another job and do something else. The time when you want to do it is in the process that you're doing it, not, you know, two years from now, a year from now. Make it part of your project. You want to do it. The results come with size after you know what to do. That's for sure. And the results then will be good. You got to inch your way back up into it. So how do I do this? I trade something I call the Golden Gap. And the Golden Gap trading system is a system that teaches how to rate, pick, and play bearish professional gaps. The Golden Gap trading system looks at 26 points to examine and rate the stock that is gapping. And this is how you can find which gap is the best to trade each day. This is my focus. This is my trading plan. This is how I determine what I'm doing. 
So how do you make money with size? You find a golden gap. You find the highest rated gap on the day. Then you play the move of the stock on the day with size in a precise entry. Okay, that is the goal. That's the focus every morning. And if you don't get something that rates over 20 points, you don't do anything. Then you just don't trade. If there's no opportunity, you don't do anything at all. You can't make it up. Sean, I'm going to use CN as an example because there was two beautiful trades in this two days in a row, okay? And I'm going to show you the examples with size or without size just to show you in here the difference, what, it, what you can see uh, just by looking at the gaps and the trades. So here is CN. This was last week. Nice little gap down here. And, you know, this is a lot to expect on this for the day. I mean, the, this is actually a huge bar for the day on this thing. This is a normal trading range bar for it. Came down here, broke, and sat on the 50. So this did have a good range in the day. And really, if it had kept falling even more, this was the bigger target of a 20, but it's hard to imagine it would do that. It could have. It didn't. So here was the play. This is on a one-minute chart. Beautiful entry right under here rallied up to the resistance. Where is the resistance? Here. Take it right here. Short it here or put the stop here. There you're in it. The entry is 72. Stops over 82. 10 cent risk on 500 shares. You could risk $50. Okay. Out of reversal time, if you risk $50, you could have made 325. That's a nice trade. Okay. To risk $50 and make $325, that's a nice trade. And anyone could do that. Anyone that has an account can do that. All right. So this is a six and a half hour trade. Let's go back and look at it. Here's the entry here, okay? Drops down, almost gets down. The real target was 21, but again, you're into 10, 15 reversal time. It starts to bounce up against you, take it out. And you could have even lowered your stop every dip down in here, you could have lowered it. But it was a nice trade and you were looking for somewhere around this area in here, right on the 50, okay? So if you take this entry here and get out here, and if you take 500 shares, it's a nice trade, 325 bucks. Now, it'd be easy to say if you had a $325 trade every day and risk $50 every day, that, you know, that's $1,500 thereabouts a week. Okay, that's six grand a month, that's good. But you do not necessarily get a six hour trade every single solitary day. Okay, if, if you did, it'd be great. Okay, some days you get a couple of things in one day. Some days you have a home run week, you get stuff all the time. Some weeks, it's touch and go. You only get two, you only get three, you never know. But if you trade with size, what can happen? Here's the same exact play, the same exact thing. Nothing different except for you, if you did it with size. The same entry, the risk is 10 cents. And you can say, well, how can you take 5,000 shares with a 10 cent stop? Yeah, you can do it. Do I do it? I do it all the time. You know, I, I did it this morning in whatchamacallit, in the OMX. Okay, and that was a thin one, but it had the volume in it to do it. So you can take these trains with 10 cent stops. I've been doing it for years. It's not like I just rolled out of bed yesterday morning and doing it. Tom always says to me, I don't know how you do that, Melissa. I can't, I don't, he just, he doesn't feel comfortable taking size and putting it in a, in a stop like this. I do it, I do it like without even blinking an eye. I'm trying to pull him over to the, to the, to the sunlight to do it. He always wants to give a bigger cushion. Today, I lowered the stop on that thing. I should have never done it. It should have been over 60. But the reality was the initial entry was 10 cents. It was a 10 cent risk. All right. So getting back to this here, if you risk $500 to take 5,000 shares and it goes down near the target and you get out, you can make $32.50. $3,250 versus $325 is a very big difference. Now, the difference between risking 50 and 500 is big too, I understand that. But if you have one trade like this with size, literally, if you really didn't get anything else the rest of the week, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I mean, seriously, $3,000 a week is 12 grand a month. 12 grand a month is roughly about 150 grand a year. So, and you're going to get more than, you know, weeks where you have more than one trade in a week. So I'm just saying, you know, do you see the difference where if you train with size, you don't need to either A, take a million plays, okay, or B, you can take some days off. You don't have to force it some of the days. You don't have to train some of the days. When you don't get your thing, you don't feel pressure that you have to do it, okay? 
And, and I think that's a big issue for people. They feel like they have to keep trading and keep trading, trade till four o'clock, trade all day, trade eight hours, trade five days a week, take a million things. It takes the pressure off you when you do trade with size and you've got a, some nice profits in for the week where you feel like, hey, you know, if I don't get anything on Monday, this is not going to do anything. You know, I don't want to start up my week down. And if I don't get a good gap, it's not going to do anything. And, you know, you just kind of ride it out. Let the market give it to you. I always say that. Let the market give it to you. Market gives you something, you take it. That was the thing today about the AEO. I thought the market was giving it to me in the gap. D didn't do it. Did, There's nothing to do. Couldn't do it in the morning. Market didn't give it to me the right way. It's the end of the story. You know what I mean? Let the market give it to you if it's going to do it. So it's about turning a little thing into a lot. When you learn how to be exact with your entries so that you can take sides, you just can turn almost and nothing into something by doing a very accurate trade. And I'm very good at doing that. Although sometimes I decide to take too much and it's my wide open big eyes and then I lower the stop. And those of you that trade with me see me do that. But in the end, when I say where the stop has to be, I just, I'm never incorrect about that, the initial one. And sometimes my eyes get so wide because I get so excited about the money. And this isn't a bad thing because it actually helps me trade the way that I do aggressively, which helps me do well, okay? So the thing is that you really have to get used to at some point in your career doing this. And I'm not saying everybody should run out tomorrow and take 5,000 shares, lots of things. But I'm saying the idea of taking 1,000 shares shouldn't scare the living daylights out of you. If you've been trading for two years, I mean, you really, at least... It has to be somewhere in the vicinity of your goal, of your trading plan to take size in your trades. And it should be something that if you're scared about doing, you have to second guess what you're actually doing for your strategy. There's probably something wrong with it. Something wrong with your entry, something wrong with your stop, something wrong with the strategy. Something is not right or you would feel the conviction in doing it unless it's just a money issue. Because when you learn how to be exact with your entries so that you can take size, you can turn almost nothing into something just by doing an accurate trade. And the ultimate goal is to do this with all of your trades. Really, this is the goal. I mean, this is, this is the goal. And I focus on this very much so in the morning. The beginning, beginning morning for me where I just hit it. Later in the day, you know, it's hard to hang with these things. But in the morning, this really is the goal for the gap trading. And the ultimate goal is to trade every trade with size in the morning on the gaps. That's the goal. That is the goal. So, again, look at the elephant. Look to the elephant, okay? Have this be somewhere in your future plan, and it can't be five years down the line. Here was another one. This was the, the next day into itself. And this is even a, a, a later type of entry but it's set up beautifully and it was exact and you could have even lowered the stop on this one. I'm going to show you in a minute and it would have helped. In fact, I think Ed did this. I don't know if he lowered the stop, but the entry was here. This is on a 15 minute chart. This is after the morning move on a 15 minute chart. Here it is. Stocks drops down. The entry was approximately here at like 50 something. I'll show you in a minute. Rallied up here, retested, it held 2 o'clock in the afternoon, major reversal time. You could have lowered the stop over the entry. It has to be up here initially, but you could have lowered it here. This broke down, went to the low of the day, that's it. Low of the day, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you're out. This was a beautiful trade. Risk to reward in here was very small as well. Oh, I have the time wrong in this. This actually wasn't in the morning. I'll go back and show you the right time. Price was 21.48. Stat was over 21.60. It was 12 cents. If you took a small risk or $60, okay, on 500 share lots again, the exit was into the low of the day. Right in here, you would have made $225. This is a good afternoon trade. To make over three hours in the afternoon is actually a really good trade. That's a really good trade. So you could have lowered the stop right over 50 and risked virtually nothing, four pennies, okay, like 20 bucks if you had done the trade and lowered the stop. Here was the entry. It was around 10.45, 11. You didn't write the right town down. But anyways, here you get in. Take the trade. Stop is over here. Drop it on down. And you take it out. Here you could have lowered it. Why? Because it tried to go above the entry here. Here it made the resistance and the time of the day is late. And so you're in this all day. 
You want this to break sometime when? Major reversal time. And it didn't break until 2. It finally broke at 2. This was a new entry. You could have actually taken a brand new trade here. But this one's better. Why? Because you take this one, you're up all in here, and then if you put it over here, then you're not down anything. So here's a great way to trade with size because you're really, actually, then all of a sudden you're risking nothing and you can take all the size and something. I'll show you the size one in a minute. Um, SPLS just broke, Tom saying, really did it. It broke under 50. We'll have to look at it when I'm done here. Tell me where it's at. Are you in it? So going back to this, here's the trade with small size. Okay. Same exact play. And here's the trade with size. Again, I have the time of the day wrong here. But 4,000 shares of this. Okay. Again, this is almost a $500 risk but it's a clean trade. It's a good gap. The gap's underway. You have the conviction. It's ready moved in the morning. You've got the numbers right. It's a 12 cent risk. Okay. It's a clean trade. In the middle of the afternoon, you could have made $1,800. And this is already, you're ready up money from the morning. Something, either CN or something else you did. You can't do these afternoon trades unless you're ready up money from the morning. That's a rule I have. Okay. But do you see the difference? And then you could have actually, and I've done this. I will lower my stop on something and it holds and then I have no risk. I'll lower it at my price and I have no risk. I can't just lower it at my price willy-nilly. I'll see this. Like I'll see something like this and then it makes sense and I'll do it. And again, these are for later trades, later in the morning or later in the afternoon. And for all intents and purposes, OMX could have held that today, but it, honestly, it was thin and jerky. That was the reason it didn't. If it hadn't been so thin and jerky, it would have, it would have held 52. Okay. Tom's saying he's not in the S staples. He's just reporting the news. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Well, I can't, I can't do anything with it now. I'm done for the day. But maybe somebody else did it. Anyways, this is a nice way to make some extra profit into the afternoon if you see these setups. You don't get these kinds of 15 minute trades all the time. How do you do this? How could you do this? How could you take this with size? Going back to the gap, going back to the gap, going back to the setup in the gap. It allows you to be able to see this, the gap on the day and the continuation on through. And the market was with you too in this one. This you don't need the market with you, it's the day of the gap. Into itself the continuation many times you need the market with you into the afternoon. Okay, but the conviction to do something with size comes from the gap itself and the precision of seeing this setup. Seeing the fact this was a rally back up to the resistance it held exactly, and I actually was a number that I had written down. Okay, so seeing all of this and being able to do it, and then having this be a number that it goes up and touches and can't go over, and what it is, it's the entry back over here. And then you know, it really is about trading based on the price, knowing what to do. And that will help you be able to do these things with the size. Because there's a big difference between a trade making $225 or making $1,800. Now, it helps, though, if you can work yourself up into it. 500 and 600, then 700, then 1,000, then 1,213, and so on and so forth. To get to the point where you start to see the monetary results. Again, it goes back to what I was saying earlier, the results. The results, the results, the results. When you see the results in there, they start to pay for the cost of the commissions and everything else, and you can get to start paying yourself, then it's fun. It makes it worth it, you know? So size matters in reference to you paying yourself for a career. Ultimately, if you want to trade for a living, you need to trade with size. There's no way you can trade with size unless you know how to trade. What to do? Have a good strategy and a good entry on your trades. You have to have golden gaps. Okay, it's not, I am not doing this in anything other than something that is rates 20 points or more. The difference is that if you trade with size, even a small week pays you. Like I was saying, like one of those trades back there in CN. And it pays the bills. Okay, so then you can pay your bills. And so some months you pay your bills and some months you have extra. Okay. You don't know. You don't know what kind of a month you're going to get. Lots and lots and lots of gaps are a couple. But either way, you're trading with size. You pay can pay your bills. So this has to be the goal to be a career trader. Size. And thus the focus must be what? Proper education to get to that point. Okay? Because you cannot trade with size if you don't know what to do. And here's an example. If the trade you're in with size is 5,000 shares and it goes against you, you, you could literally be up $500, a trade may only go $0.10, cents, and all of a sudden you could be down 
to 50 if it backs up against you by 5 cents. Do you know what I'm saying? Or even let's just say 10,000 shares, so 7,500. If you take a 7,500 share position in something with a 10 cents uh, or a 5 cents stop, let's say, and the risk is like 350. You could be up $750 if it drops into itself, 10 cents, and then all of a sudden it starts backing up. It's almost near stopping you out, and then you're down 350. The swings with size, you have to be able to understand and accept, and this is part of it too, okay? Being able to follow the swings with these things. Seeing your PL be up a lot, and then all of a sudden your PL is not up, it's down. Like your PL is up a lot monetarily, and then all of a sudden it's down. Could be down a little bit or could be down, you know, close to the stop. But the idea is that how do you know to be able to sit through the trade, give it time, do what it's supposed to do, have the stop at the right place, take the size is education and understanding of the strategy itself, of the entries of the stocks, the way they move and the where the stop has to be. Understanding that you can take certain things with size and certain things you really can't because they're just too thin or too whippy or too jumpy. Trading with science will help you achieve the goal you have in mind, which is what? Real results and a successful trading career. That's what most people want. Now, some people are doing this part-time. Some people are doing this to transition into a full-time career at some point. But you cannot do that until you start to see real results for yourself and success. So the goal is, number one, trade golden gaps. Trade only golden gaps. You have a high rate of success in the directional bias. This is what I do. 20 or points or more. Number two, get the best entry you can with precision so you can take sides with it properly, which I do. Manage it correctly by taking some off into dips, doing ads, and doing your best to hold to a bigger target with some. You know, this works out the days that things go and run. Some of the days when things are choppy, like Staples is a good example today, I felt the need to take that whole thing off there at 51. It was a good decision, all right? And I was thinking, should I just take off half? And something to me said, no, it hits a number, it doesn't break it, get out. The whole thing. Days when stuff goes to run and run and run and run and run, you can do this in the ads and the dips back. But if something hits a number, again, back to the price, the detail and the focus of the price. If I didn't have the number down there today, if I did not know the number in Staples, I would have actually got out of that trade with a loss. Instead, instead I got out of it positive. There's a difference between positive or negative. I could have a headache right now in Staples. Now, Tom's just telling me that it's broke. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's an hour before the minutes. There's no reason to be taking new trades now. But honestly, it, precision counts. Precision counts. Having the numbers, having them a sheet, it counts. It makes a difference between you making money or losing money on the day. Holding something to a bigger number or taking it off, it makes a difference with the whole shebang. There's nothing that it doesn't do to make a difference. Okay? It's all about detail and precision. I don't care what it is you're doing. You've got to have it, and that means the numbers. If you have a detailed reading the gap rating, it will help you to take a sizable position. And, you know, I'm just at the point where if I don't like the gap, I don't want to do it at all. I only want to do it a little bit. In order to trade with a sizable position, you need to make sure you are getting in the stock at a precise price on the play. Getting it at the right place and putting the stop at the right place is so important. And if you're late, you're still going to put the stop at the right place. The quality of the gap in the play is important in conjunction with size. Quality gaps provide quality plays. This is true. Golden gaps provide quality plays, things that rate high and go on to work. It's like looking in a microscope. It's like you got to get your microscope out. You have to have the microscope there. You have to study it, see the specimen under the microscope. What is a specimen? It's whatever stock symbol you're looking to trade. You have it under there. You're staring down. You're looking at it. I'm seeing the staples. It's getting to the 1451. Is it going to turn into an amoeba with bacteria or is it going to break? And then you take it. So you have to really just hone it down into a microscope. Okay. And it's, you know, it, you could say, well, you know, it's easy to say that, but it is easy to say that. It, that green bar in Staples was sitting there staring the face of the planet. It was there for anyone to see. And even if it went this afternoon, you know, it, the morning is the time to do stuff. And you can always go back in and redo it. If it's going to break later, you always go back in and redo it. So it's about seeing the whole picture, seeing the whole picture and seeing things for what they are, not necessarily for you what you want them to be. I know this is the tricky part of trading. This is such a tricky part of trading because everybody wants things to work out. I want things to work out. I want to get up in the morning and I want AO to drop $2 down to 13 bucks, and then just call it a day. 
but you know, that didn't happen today. So, you know, you kind of have to see the whole picture and live in the moment. This is the beauty of trading. See the whole picture and live in the moment. The Golden Gap Course and Conviction. This is the class that I teach. This is the way that I trade. The Golden Gap Course gives you conviction. It gives you conviction because of the detail and the precision in it. And this conviction will help you to take sides in your trade, which will allow you to make more money. Once you know how to take precise entries, you will be able to do it with size and conviction. And again, size is the goal. Why is size the goal? Because if you want to be a career trader, you have to be able to pay your bills. How are you going to pay your bills if things don't go to target every single day? What are you going to do? you got to turn some of these trades that are not that much into something some of the days. How are you going to do that? You've got to know where to take the entry and where to put the stop. You have to be able to take the size and hit the button and do it. If, if There's no point in taking size if the stop's going to be jimongous away. If you, have, if, you, if you have an account that enables you to take size, say you have a lot of money, you can take it. Your account can withstand it. But if you don't know where to put the stop or where to take it, you're not going to have the risk to reward. So it's kind of like pointless if you can even take the position. So the you can make more with a small account if you can know what to do with, with the actual entry and exit because you'll get the buying power. Somebody's going to give you the buying power to do it, okay, if you know how to trade even without a million dollars. You really have to learn how to do it right. I mean, that is ultimately the goal for everyone is, is the actual understanding of the numbers in the gap. And time is money. Don't waste months or years of your life trying to make a little bit of money while you're actually losing money in commissions in the market by taking plays and doing trades that are not of value. Meaning you take a trade and you get quick out. You take another trade and you get quick out. You take a trade, you take 400 shares, 500 shares, you don't have any conviction, you quick get out and you can't get any good runs and stuff, and you're back and forth, don't waste time trading for months and years with no conviction. It's like a waste, okay? You've got to learn and find something that you can get conviction in so you can really trade and do what you want to do and have the passion reignited in you to make money. You need to have conviction in the first, first starts with a good strategy and a system with detailed plays. Once you have conviction, you'll be able to take size in your trades. And once you start taking size in your trades, you'll be able to earn more money. And this is the goal. This is the goal for everyone. So don't give all your hard-earned money away to the market in mistakes, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Invest in your own learning, your own education, your own well-being. And part of this has to do with your own well-being. Because it is very stressful, actually, I think, taking trades you don't have conviction in. Uh, I guess that's why I don't do it. I guess that's why I'm kind of like, I'm either going to take size or I'm not going to be bothered, you know, especially in the morning. Because if I feel like I can't take size, it's because I don't have conviction. I know myself well enough to know that. Start to think big for yourself. What have you got to lose? You don't have anything to lose. So you may as well learn how to trade with size by baby stepping up the ladder. Like I was saying, chunk it out. Add a 100, add 200. Get on the ladder, though. You got to get on the ladder. Don't keep hanging on for dear life while the opportunity in the market and in gaps passes you by. And, and you've just got to stop waiting for opportunity to pass you by. The opportunity is there in the market many, many days in the week. And if you're not taking advantage of the opportunity by finding the right things to play, then you're missing out on money you can make. And you're stressing yourself out back and forth doing stuff that really isn't going to get anywhere and not making sense. So ask for what you want from life. Liter literally, go, ask, order it up. I am telling you right now, market, I want a good gap tomorrow morning. I want a gap that's going to run for me. In fact, I'll even give you two days, market. Give me two days to get a big run in something this week, Thursday or Friday. Because you didn't give me AEO, you know, today's a big trade. But thank you for letting me make money today, market. I would like a big trade between the next two days. Will you give that to me, market? I'm going to ask it right now. Is the market going to give it to me? I have a feeling it will, okay? But the reality is ask for what you want. Ask for what you want from life. Do you want to be back and forth taking 100 share lots, 200 share lots? No. The idea is to get on board with taking sides, to see the money in the ticker, to see those comma days and get excited about it. And as I'm saying this now, I'm seeing the AEO break. I just looked at it here. I don't know what's happening in the market, but the AEO is breaking too. Maybe they're all breaking down. Okay. So invest in yourself as a trader. Invest in yourself as a trader. This is an important aspect of your life if you really want to do it seriously. I teach a class called the Golden Gap Course. The next class is September. The dates are September 14th and 15th. It's a week, month out if anyone's interested.
from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost is $24.99. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And I also teach another class on trends. This is coming up next week. If anyone wants to do the trends course, it's Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. From 1 to 5, the cost of the class is $9.99, and this is a course on how to read trends in stock charts, which I've talked about before, but it's very interesting because many people don't know how to read trends right. And again, like everything else I've figured out, I've just figured this out over the course of time, trading and figuring stuff out, just doing it, doing it live. And I'm also teaching another class next week, if you're interested, called the Wealth Manifestation Course. This is $3.99. It's from 1 to 4 on Monday, and this includes one month in the live trading room. So if you decide to do the wealth course next week, you could start your membership if you want to sign up for it before Monday, and I give you the rest of August for free, and you can be in the room for the month of September. So the wealth manifestation class is a class that discusses money, okay, and how it affects your mind, your decision-making abilities as a trader. It's a very interesting class, and for those of you that are in here that want to retake it, or any of the ones that you've done it, you can retake the classes next week. Just email me if you want to redo them. I'm doing a combo special, summer special, for next week. If you want to do both classes next week, you can do them for one price. So for $9.99, you can do the Trends course and the Wealth Manifestation course next week. So this is a good deal. So you basically get the Wealth class for free. If you want to do the Trends class next week, just email me. I'm Melissa at thestockswish.com. So remember, life is worth living, and part of this means being happy with what we do. And if we are trading for months and weeks and years and we're not happy with it, we have to investigate the strategy we're doing. The market's there to make money. Maybe it's something that you're doing with the basic gist of your trading strategy that is not put together, and you've got to find something to pay you. Otherwise, you'll never get to the point that you can sit on the beach with these people and toast and drink expensive champagne because they had big days. You got to be happy like these people, not worried about stuff, not worried about taking size. So thank you so much for coming. Anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any questions about anything at all they want me to answer about this discussion? Let me know. I'm going to take a look here at some of these things. Let me take a 